Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I want to wish you a happy Sunday. I hope you're enjoying this time, this time of meditation, relaxation, for we want to find this point of stillness to, to, because if we, if we're always running after time, we'll never catch up. Huh? It's about finding the stillness and allowing all those energies to come into alignment to access the, the vertical pillar of light so that we can break free of the, the, the crown chakra and, and open and let our consciousness flow into the higher realm and to bring back this energy down into, into our physical body to align with, to clear up our chakras, to, to, um, to connect, to, to find ourselves grounded, huh? for we, uh, in the grounding process, we, we can turn directly to the center of center, to God, or to, to, or to the inner self, to the inner heart. Um, but in essence, we want we, we, this heart, we, we want to bring the energy down into our belly, to feel grounded into our body, and then we, we can send into our energy into the center of the planet. Once we connect to the center of the planet consciously, we, we cannot connect to, to all the sorts of all the billions of human beings and all the animals and all the plants and all those who are living on the planet. But we're connecting energetically to the central to the central core of the Mother Earth, and so we become one with the Earth, and then we we connect to the sun, the, the, the sun, the central the central the central body of our solar system and which which connects us to to a uh, to uh, all kinds of consciousness uh, the, in the solar system then we we send our energy down to the center of our local universe Alcyon the central sun of our local universe and we connect to millions of star systems and consciousness and and civilization then we can send our, our consciousness to the center of the galaxy in the 100s dimension and we connect to billions of stars and and hundreds of thousands of local universe and then we can send our, we can return our consciousness to the great central sun of, our, of the cosmos, to the, 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 the one, the one that is all. And so, and from there we connect to the, the twin universe, the central sphere, the central the, the, the light of the central universe and which, which balance out and send the information in order to find this alignment um, for, for this uh, our third eye will soon open and we'll be able to connect to all those spheres of energy and to draw on light in order to, to recharge ourselves. We're like batteries. We need to, to we need to we need to, to charge our, ourselves always to recharge ourselves with this divine light. Those logos will learn to do that. The prana, which is the breathing, we, we visualize this light entering into our body and filling our energy field. And so we are, we'll learn to do that. Uh, we want to right now. We want to be in a saving mode. Huh? We want to be. We don't want to be expanding into uh, all kinds of. Or whatever your heart tells you to do is what you have to do. But but to to to, to preserve the seminal energy, the willpower. A seminal lessons to, to elevate it and, and, and reinforce our vital flow energy, not to, to speak too much, or, or when you speak, uh, make sure your words have meaning is much better usually to, to, say, to say less, to, to say more with less words always, and then to, to elevate, it, elevate it and concentrate our spiritual energy in order to, so that it, we can break free of the spiritual um, of the corporate, the corporeal uh, entrapment, this encapsulation, so we, our consciousness can be free to travel into the higher planes. For those are things that will eventually be, um, will eventually master. For everybody is different. Everybody is guided differently. I'm just offering ideas. It's they're just tools or possibilities. See what resonates with you. For all beings are very very different. We're all very different, and we're guided differently. Our, our knowledge and, and path of evolution are, is very different. But we, it is our own soul and spirit that is. Uh, we want to allow our soul and spirit to guide uh, guide our life into a, a ever increasing level of quality uh, quality of life. For there is only one golden rule: is do no harm. If you do do not arm yourself and you do no harm to others, you are in alignment with your higher soul, higher spirit. And so we want to we wanna continue to, to listen to the heart and listen to the voice of the heart, to listen to the inner self. For they are very, um, those, uh, the more we ascend, the more we can see in the past and the future. For our higher beings are, are able to provide guidance in relationship to our future because they can see the future so much with so much more clarity than we can. For here, we, we don't have that much vision into what is going on. For the future is what is possible, probable, or certain. There are certain things that are certain, certain things that are probable, and those are that are possible. One thing that is certain is that the law of one, the law of God, the divine law will always make the truth come out. 
Uh, but this law is eternal, so, so sometimes it, can take, it appears to be in existence because it takes a long time to manifest. It is, it is conditioned by the wisdom of the whole. The, for God always works through the whole. The, he, always is, he, he has to educate the, the way the law of evolution works, is that it has to operate in a way that every being and everything is learning, growing and evolving. There will be a, there will be a, a cosmic storm on the horizon after this crisis uh, that will uh, that will shake humanity to the core. Huh? It will come out in the media. The media will not be able to avoid it. And I have I've been informed of what it is, but I cannot say. But it will be coming of, of something. But some people want the whole truth to be coming forward, but humanity is not ready, so it will come by step. But this this will be a, this will be quite a challenge. So we have to remain center, huh? and when the when the storm will hit, for for now we we are we just uh, we, we have to, to to deal with life one day at a time. Here and now, I am. For this is a this is a painting that says I am. It's it's the with the spiritual heart that we have here. The, the higher heart for the spiritual heart is the center of the brain, but we have this higher heart that has to connect to our heart chakra. And it says here and now, it is, it's about finding this stillness as much as possible for within the stillness. Focus on the breath in the stillness, we, we can receive so much more than when we're too busy with our mind and thoughts. I'm going to pull a few cards um, see, for guidance. The, the, higher, the highest wisdom is to free ourselves from imprisonment and slavery. This is really what is going on. It's not to focus on the imprisonment and slavery. See, the door has always been open. The, the, the freedom has always been accessible through the, the vertical aspect. It's just we, we are projected in a timeline and we feel the timeline, the time, the illusion of time more real than the truth of, of our own spiritual freedom. But right now we are being, uh, we, we are being uh, slowly but surely, we, we are being freed from, there is so much consciousness that is rising that, that people are seeing all, the, all, all the, the illusions that are coming forward. So, so we'll, um, what we need to understand is the often we, is to find our place in the world, is to, to, to reconnect, to, to let go of the separation, the illusion of separation. What we need to do is Asia, it is finding this lucidity and serenity in all circumstances. Yeah, it is the Lord Buddha. Buddha as always, all the teachings of Buddha, if, if those who study can find the freedom for the Buddha was a very advanced philosopher, but also a scientist, the science of ascension, everything in the sutras, for there are certain things in the sutras that are not written, they are like... Um, that has to be discovered. The true sutra, the highest sutra, are discovered by the, the assess, the, the meditation and the, the process of integration of, of love and, and compassion. And uh, the outcome will be freedom, the, 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 it will be the vessels, it will be crossing the great water, new adventure, new, new enjoyment. For once, once we overcome this, uh, the, we, we realize that we can be free, we, we have to accept that it is a time that is biblical. <laughs> it is the time of the end time. It's really the end time is going on. It's just the first act right now. But it's it's not the end of the world. It is the end of time. It is the end of the end of separation. The end of illusion. The end of suffering. It's like there is this great um, everything has to be shaken up and brought to the surface in order to for humanity to be free. And there will be um, there will be. Um, separation of timeline for those who are choosing the, the love, light and inclusion and those who are still seeking the power, the power without, the power over, disons. And, uh, and then we'll have to understand once we let go of this, uh, this, this feeling of, uh, of being the orphan, <coughs> we're, we're going to be able to connect to the, the galactic plane, the fifth and sixth dimension, the, the higher realm, the, this, this, the, the, the integrated light that we'll be able to, to, to we can, that's already there. It's just a matter of removing the layer of conditioning and allowing this higher light and connect to the galactics, whatever you, whatever connection you feel, utilize this connection, call on the collective, the archangels, call on the, the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the, the Andromedan, the, um, for the Andromedans, who, usually you would go through the Arcturians to connect to the higher frequency of the, of the Andromedan, but um, because they're already in, in the alignment with that, uh, for the Arcturians are very essential, so do not, uh, they're, they're here in service, they are ascended, or the Ascended Master, the Christ, the Buddha, Lord Krishna, whoever, um, or turn directly to God. Eh? There is no, uh, but but it's about ca channeling this energy, this frequency that that is uh, that is fully uh, liberated. And so the more we we accept and we allow that, the, the more we will be able to, to to reconnect to our galactic nature. For we all came down from those higher planes. I wanted to to discuss an idea. 
briefly is a, is, is it's about physics uh, I, I, something that came through my mind that I think I, I want to rehabilitate uh, the scientist that's called uh, what's called Albert Einstein is quite famous everybody knows about Albert Einstein but he had this this uh, the theory of general relativity in this theory he says that the universe is eternal and I think I, I agree with him but then again the the and I want to rehabilitate, find a way to, to prove that he was right. Because uh, at some point, there was a, a, a mathematician named Georges Lemaitre who observed that the universe, the galaxies are expanding and, and there is an expansion in the universe. So he made up those theories and, and, he, and, and, and people believe that his equation disproved the fact that the universe is eternal because it's something that he, I don't question his sincerity. It's just I know something he didn't. And so... He observed that the universe was expanding, and so he, he came up with this theory that it's that the universe is like this novelty. It started 13 billion years ago, and it started from a primordial atom that, and then he called the Big Bang. But but this is completely false, and a lot of our our, our, our series are on cosmology, and uh, it, a lot of scientists are basing their their, their reality, their, their 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 series on that Big Bang, which is a complete illusion. What they did not know, what it does not know, what it did, is that there is a cosmic breathing. For two billion years, the universe is expanding, and for two billion years, it is contracting, and then two billion years, it's expanding. So right now, we live in an expansion phase. But, but we, uh, the, yeah, it's been revealed, Spirit revealed to me, and even the actor a long time ago talked about that. We're very close to the point where the universe is going to stop expanding and it's going to start contracting. So it's about a thousand years in, in the future. So it's very, very short in relationship to a two billion year cycle. So it's very, very close. And this is a magical point where all the ascended planes of the universe will utilize this to, to even ascend to higher, higher frequency. So there will be some equation that may be able to... <clears throat> to disprove uh, Le Maître and, and to reinstate the, this series of Einstein as the universe is eternal, for the universe is far, far, far older. It is, it is still young in relationship to its final outcome of, a, of infinity, but, but it is it's much, much, much older than any, even a galaxy. It's a lot older than any of those illusions of Big Bangs and so on. So, so this is something I'm gonna I'm gonna look into eventually. It went through my head. Uh, so this this painting is is about the solar system and it's, it places uh, some paintings I placed in my own astrology chart. So I put the Earth instead of my face here, and this is the Sun. And and I will return maybe to to discuss um, those little planets that are there is there is thousands and hundreds of thousands of little planets that have been discovered in the solar system. Some have names, some have numbers, some are, are not even discovered or they don't even have name or numbers. Um, but each of those planets are, are connected by a name, and those names are relative. They, they, intuitively, they, they, they all fit into the, the fact that they're connected to cosmic energies and the intelligence that are related to the, the Greek mythology. And so we can see, we can know the, the frequency. For all planets are inhabited by some form of spirit, by spirit groups, or by, or by material or semi-material groups. There are higher civilization in our solar system that we do not know like Jupiter or Venus, that are very advanced planets, that are with advanced civilization, but we're still a little bit too, um, too young, uh, too immature to, to allow ourselves to, to communicate with them, but they will come. And so um, and there are even certain planets that are still inhabited by dark extraterrestrial, like Saturn. Um, Spirit says it's really dark things, or Eris, there is like all kinds of um, the goddess of discord. Um, and it's moon dysnomia, but but there are many many very beautiful planets that sends beautiful energy into the solar system. Uh, for this is uh, about astrology, but uh, can can be looked at from an astronomical standpoint. Yet astrology attrib attribute vibrational uh, vibrational um, consciousness to planets when astronomy is just. Uh, uh, well, we we can see it and we give it a name and number and this is a, a dead object, so to speak. Well, I do not believe those things are. The planet is not a dead object. It's not a rock. It is a consciousness. It is, a, and all the, the sun is a consciousness and all those planets are consciousness. I possess consciousness on some level. Well, it is my, my, my perception. I'm, I respect those who do not share those perceptions, but uh, I will not change that, that understanding. <laughs> For, for, I, I know that I don't know, I'm like Socrates, but um, yet there are certain things I cannot deny um, that have been revealed to me. I'm going to sing a song and put, put, and put a last card, a song that went through my mind. I already sang it a couple of times, but I sing it again. It goes like this, David Bowie. 
We passed upon the stair, we spoke of what and when, although I wasn't there, he said I was his friend, which came as a surprise, I spoke into his eyes, I thought you died alone. A long, long time ago. Who knows? Not me. We never lost control. Your face to face with the man who saved the world. I laughed and shook his hand and made my way back home i searched for form and land for years and years i roamed i gaze a gazeless stare we walked a million hills i must have died alone a long long time ago who knows not me I never lost control Your face to face With the man who saved the world Great song. Well, I changed the word soul by saved. I think it's more positive <laughs> because it's like a we want to move from materialistic to, to, to a free society where every being, the quality of life of every human being is, is been, uh, is been considered for, for we living in a shifting time and those shifting time will, will, will put great tests on the government for those, those leaders who are really concerned by the quality of life and the, the well-being of their citizens will survive the shift. Those who have selfish agenda beyond the needs of their citizens will, will, will be, have to face certain, uh, certain, we um, will probably not be able to stay very long in power for Right now, we have the, the three of Michael. We are returning to disintegration, to letting go. It says breaking free from the past. You will come at aggrandize of a situation you are living today. For the time is very challenging right now. The time always heals the, the deepest, even the deepest wounds. So, it's about integrating, letting go of all those, uh, accepting that, uh, that that we've learned our lessons. We find this wholeness. We 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 allow the, the wounds of the heart to be healed in order to move into the space of freedom. For no, the freedom is granted already. It is just a matter of allowing yourself to address whatever you need to address to liberate those energies in order to find the, to 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 find that freedom and. And freedom will be granted. Well, thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Namaste.